<laughs> she loves anything. See you To save us all from Satan's power, and we have gone astray. Yes, it's very difficult. Don't you think you can take your cha jacket off? They've gone. No, I didn't want to take I'm my jacket. I'm kidding. is not the subject. Prayer, praying, not the question. The question is, why even all the others? Am I up watching the last three late show in the first place? Watching the last late show. Hearing you slip out of your dress. Listening to your breathing after your sleep. No. Heaven's all ducks break. God, the house smells like someone's pissed in the fireplace. About a week ago. It's not necessary. sleep on the sofa. Be my guest. Carl was really about something bad at dinner, wasn't he? Yeah, well, he does that, you know? You coming to sleep? You must be dropping. I'm not all that tired, actually. Well, there's a switch. If I turn in early, you're not obliged to go to bed, too. If I didn't want to, I wouldn't. Mm. You want to tuck me in? Yeah. I'll be in. Lübeck doesn't want talked in.
tonight. I love you. I love you. Go away. Shut the door already. Turn on the radio. Get out. Good night, love. Sweetie, you're asleep. Oh, sweet Jesus. You okay, baby? Oh, wow, well, yeah. Oh, don't wake me up. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you doing? I'll be in in a minute. I'm just trying to relax. Well, how long have you been asleep? About five minutes. Oh, that's not possible. Go sleep. Want me to come? No, okay. Door shut? A girl? Age? Seventeen. Relationship? I'm not sure. You have her? No. I take her places. The ball game, the movies, the museum, the zoo? The botanical gardens once. She studies botany. At the University of Chicago. Are you in love with her? Something like that. Where is she? I was just wondering. It's nearly two. Yeah, I know. Well. This is all got to break wide open. Do I love her? Yes, I think so. But unfortunately, I suspect love is only a neurosis people have agreed everyone should have together. No different to acrophobia. It isn't a natural process, like eating, breathing, or sex. It's tacked on. What the hell are you doing with a teenager anyway? Debbie! It isn't like that. Yeah, it sounds pretty damn sick if you want me to. Carl! The other guy's business always sounds sick. Well, what do you do? Nothing. What are you, like? Her uncle. Okay, fine. Exactly. And she's like my 
high respiratory system. But I just assume that was fine by me. Only I think Carl, Gabby Carl. It's like I was never young. I didn't see things. You and I drank and had fun and sang. But I didn't see things. This girl knows things I don't even know yet. She knows how to leave herself alone. She has no allegiance, no priorities. Everything is valuable to her equally. As it comes. And that's right. I think it might be. Oh God, Alex, don't you want to have a family? Don't you want to have kids? Jesus, Carl, you always ask me that. This what do you always answer? Again. Because what I wanted most... What I wanted most used to be a boy. A son. I would have had 15 of Adam's get a boy. And loved them, every one. No lie. I almost blame Mary for having a girl. Now, of course, I, I wouldn't trade her. Funny thing, Wayne. I would still want a hell of a kick. Donald's had three girls in a row. A CPA, right? A hit on an answer. Ellen brought us together remarkably, wonderfully. I think she would. But it wouldn't work now, not really. What, another kid? No, not that. I was thinking something else. I thought you were talking about having a No, I was thinking kid. people can be brought together by tragedy. Something happened to Ellen. Carl, nothing's going to happen to Ellen. No, but if something did. I always, I always wondered what very, very primitive people. Well, there's something in it. Saw the fantasy. Saw the house of cards. One fantasy. One lie. Balance on to others. I love them too. Too damn much. I'm sorry, darling. I got embroiled in a drunken question and answer session. She went back to sleep. <laughs> you know, Ella takes more and more after you. She lacks all coherence. What do you make of Alex's career? Have you decided? Impending then. I can't decide if he just sees himself carrying a charger, advancing into and battle. You don't carry the charger into battle. The charger is the horse. I thought you carried a charger like a lance. Well, all right. Charging in an a cheval with whom? He might fool us. You know, if he isn't political, he'll be eaten alive. And if he is political, I have no interest in him. I mean, why the hell doesn't he just quit and join the Civil Liberties Union if he has such an overpowering social conscience? I know Gabby's confused. Oh, I think so. You know, I had to make a lot of great telephone confirmations this afternoon. And I knocked them off in about 10 minutes flat. Good. Without even skipping a beat, I called Donald and asked him how about him knocking it off with my wife. What did he say? I wasn't sure I could call him. I didn't actually know I was going to until I hung up. Whatever made you think there was anything to knock off? No, we won't do that. Won't do what? Pretend. We won't pretend. Of course I know. I've known for months. Every Wednesday. You're being awfully circuitous for someone with a degree. No, Mary. I go into town. I've been seeing Mom for a week. No, I'm not talking about your mother. I haven't any idea. No, Mary, don't. Don't! I go buy a new apartment at the Commonwealth every Wednesday every Wednesday, to check to see if he showed up, to watch the blinds turn. 
Oh, you turn them up and he turns them down? I told you I've been spending lunch hours around the Hancock building and you never even heard me. Doubtless your mind was somewhere else. We know how one tracks you get. We won't pretend. When was that? Months ago. Three months at least. I don't know, man. Why the hell did you say something? I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. And I kept thinking, it'll break off. You'll give it up. That's what I prayed. When did you say I did try. I did try. I, I wrote it out once, so it would what I'd say. God. You poured No, Mary, don't. I do not intend to discuss this rationally. I'd be damned if I will. Oh, you asked me, you asked me, what did he say? He said, sure, okay, fine. And rather briefly. And I hung up, and I thought, quite a lot, I thought, I'm twice again his size, I am. I'm about twice the man's size. I could beat the shit out of the guy, and you, and it might make me feel a little better, huh? I tell Ellen, let me go down the stairs. Whatever he felt about you, that you managed to be in love. A little pass. Oh, God. Carl. Couldn't I have seen him? No, just... I don't like seeing that. It's too easy. Say fuck. Oh. Say fuck! All right. Because I got off on it. Without dragging romance through it. Because I dug it. Oh, it was hot stuff, was it not? It was hot stuff? My responsibility to you hasn't altered in the least. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I know, and Ellen, with, with all this great guilt, we should be even closer now. Well, I guess I should even thank him, huh? He must think you married someone else, because I don't work that way. The only thing you can tell me is that it never happened. How am I going to believe that, huh? None of it happened? Bow didn't crack. Wheel wasn't bent. Bow didn't break. Crater didn't fall. You tell me how you're going to tell me that. I can't do that, Carl. I wouldn't want to. Oh, God damn it, Mary. At least tell me you love the sound of a bitch. I don't. Jesus. God, you have it all up, and I don't understand any of it. The farthest star is <laughs> several billion light years away at the edge of the universe, beyond which is nothing. Einstein tells us. Not even cold, empty space. Nothing. Tricky. Now, what is that supposed to mean to me? I have to assume that the Earth and her people may at any moment jump track and catapult us, cold, wet, and frosty, into a neighboring solar system. <laughs> And how stupid, preoccupied, and foolish we'll look. Some embarrassingly superior being will frown questioningly and say, What do you make of all these facts you present me with? And we'll say, well, we're, we're working on it. Just give us another week. You mean there are people hungry and cold, and 10% of your population controls 90% of your food and blankets? Well, we're working on it, but we're not. We'll do anything. 
anything except admit that what we've got here is not just a simple problem of distribution. But recently, I read a report from the good old government. Why I want to be a part of that, I'll never know. That said, we, meaning man, have discovered, meaning America probably, have discovered just about all there is to know. The mind of man has encompassed most all knowledge, and from now on, however far that may be, we'll just be in the process of refinement. That's our future. Sandpapering. <laughs> Where's the man who wrote that living, huh? Oh. When is he living? How would that asshole address himself to the complexity of the human being? Two, for instance, that horrible moment when I feel I, myself, might just one of these deranged and silvery mornings become that monster you read about who slays his family and himself. Or 15 strangers hold up in a tower somewhere, come foaming into the breakfast table, tie a ride, hair uncombed, Moments all the worse because they're recurrent at the most unguarded times. When that prospect, however hideous, is very real. In the middle of culminating a particularly successful business deal, or relaxing on the beach in the clean, salt air, you still feel it way down deep in your nature somewhere. Mysterious man caught up with you? Her father. 